hey everyone welcome to another video and in this tutorial today i will show you how you can create a backup of your wordpress website manually and there are two ways to do it first is using with a using a plugin and there's another method to directly take backup of your wordpress website from your cpanel and that does not involve using any plugin so if you want to take a backup without plugin you can do that also so before we start i just want to explain why you uh, why taking a backup of your wordpress website is very important you know if anything goes wrong after installing a new plugin or theme or your website gets hacked which is very common with wordpress and um, if you did something accidentally and your website stopped working so if in that case if you have a web backup you can restore your website to the point where it was working normally so without further delay let's start so first method is using the plugin and for that we will have to go to the wordpress admin dashboard so for that go to my blog and from here go to dashboard and alternatively you can just add wp admin slash and go to the wordpress dashboard and you may have to log in and i was already logged in so okay i hope you already know how to log into wordpress dashboard that's really simple okay so once you log in what you have to do is go to plugins and then click on add new And after this, go to the search bar and type here updraft plus. Okay, so this is the plugin we need to create backup of our WordPress website. And this will be by updraftplus.com and click on activate. Okay, so I have already installed this, so you may have to click on like this install now button there will be. So it's a fairly simple process, just click on install now and then you will see this activate button. Okay, just click on activate and that's it. And after this you will see this page and what you have to do is just close this. And now go to settings and then from here go to updraft plus backups and from here what you can do is click on backup now and select these two options include your database in the backup include your files in the backup and then click on backup now and that's it it is a fairly very simple process to create manually create a backup of your wordpress website and you can see your created backup here in the list of existing backups and uh, if you want to download separately these uh, things you can download the database plugins themes uploads and other you, know, you can download all these files as separate files so for example if i want to download the database of my website you just have to click it and you can just then click on download to your computer and that's it you have downloaded your wordpress site database and this is the database okay so i will close this and that's basically how it simple it is to create a backup of your wordpress website manually and now there is okay but this is the manual process and you will have to every time do this manually so but there's an easier way to do this and that is by you can automate and schedule your backups to know i have already created a video about it so i'm not going to do it again and if you want to learn how to automate and schedule backups and you can also upload those backups directly to your google drive or any other cloud service from you can see the available cloud service with this plugin so if you want to automate the whole process and directly upload this to the cloud so there's very less risk 
you can also do that and to learn that you can watch the video you will see a, a link to the card so uh, in the top right corner okay so if you want to watch that video go click on that uh, link in the card and uh, you know you can learn how to automate the whole process okay so this is basically how simple it is to automate uh, how to manually take, create a backup of your wordpress website using a plugin updraft plus okay now the second method is to create a backup of your wordpress website from cpanel so first go to log into your cpanel and now go to okay for this we will need to create backup of two things is first is the our files our wordpress files this will contain all the media files plugins uploads and everything and second thing is we need is a da database of our website so to download the files first we have to go to the file manager and from here go to the folder where your website is located generally it is for most web hosts it is in the public html folder and here uh, okay my website setup is a bit different because for this demo and uh, normally you will see your wordpress files here in the public html folder if you are, okay so um, here i have installed this uh, wordpress in this folder demo and here i have installed you can see my website uh, this is located in the install in the wp folder and this is the wp folder where all my files are located so i will open it and then select all the files click on select all and then right click and then click on compress and then select compression type to zip archive then click on compress files now what this will do is this will create a zip file of all your wordpress files so and this will be created something like this okay so you can see wp-admin.zip has been created you can rename it to anything you want for example i will rename it to full backup and save it so and then uh, you have to download this file to your pc select this file and then click on download and your download will begin and depending on your uh, file size and internet connection speed this will take a few seconds to download okay so this process is complete and what i will do is after downloading immediately delete this file as it can be very risky to keep this file on your server so i will delete it and now we have completed the first part of taking backup of our wordpress files now we have to do the second part that is take backup of our wordpress database so let's go back to the cpanel main dashboard again and scroll down until you see this option php my admin in the database tab okay just then click on it php my admin and here you will see a lot of database uh, i mean i have i am hosting a multiple website on the server so there are multiple database and if you're also hosting multiple websites and you don't know which is the correct database for the website uh, you want to create backup of what you can simply do is go to the file manager and from here see uh, check the file wp-config.php and select this file and then click on view and from here you can see this contains all the information about your database so from here you can see the database name this is the wp493 so again let's go back to the php my admin and then here you can see this database wp493 so this is the correct database for the website we want to create backup of so what i will do uh, to create uh, to take backup of this database select this and then go to export and here select just keep this option on default and make sure the format is sql then click on go and your website uh, sql database will download 
and so this and this is usually very uh, small uh, small in size so it will not take much time to download so for demo uh, now I will show you how to restore your website from uh, from this manual database so for example I will delete all the tables in this database I will select all and drop them yes okay so I have deleted everything from this database you can see it's empty and now my website should stop working let's try to reload it and see and you can see it is showing the installation screen so and it cannot connect to the database or cannot find it because we have deleted everything so and I will also delete the files WordPress files so what I will do is select all and delete and I've deleted all my WordPress files too. So now how I will restore it. Let's learn how to restore our website. So first let's start by restoring the WordPress files. Go to upload, file manager, locate the folder where your WordPress was installed and then from, go to click on upload. Now here what you can do is select the zip file so I will simply drag and drop it here full backup zip and uh, depending on your internet connection again this will take a few seconds few minutes to upload and there is a maximum file limit allowed if your web zip file is above the limit what you can do is create uh, divide those zip files in smaller files and upload them one by one so, and later extract all of them so uh, the, my upload is complete let's go back to the file manager and you can see uh, it has been uploaded full backup zip now selected and let's extract it okay so now after extracting all the files what you have to do is click again delete immediately delete the zip file okay that Imp it is very important to delete that zip file please remember that because it can be a very high security risk if anyone manages to download that file so if you want to learn about securing your wordpress please check the link on the card and you know, while you are performing all this maintenance what you can do is click a uh, create stxs file and limit access to your wordpress uh, to your server using ip block so if you want to learn that uh, click on the link in the card or uh, post in the comments and if i miss anything i will try to help you okay so now our first part is complete we have restored all our wordpress files again and now let's restore our wordpress database so what you have to do is again select the correct database and then go to import tab click on import and from here select the correct file and let's this is the file we just downloaded and select that and click on go and import has successfully finished 64 queries so our import has been successfully completed and our database is working so again all the tables have been restored so ideally our website should have started working again let's try to revisit our website and see if it's working and it's working normally you can see let's check this post it is working let's check the admin dashboard it is also working normally as it was before nothing has changed okay so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you need any help if you have any questions please post in the comments and i will try to help you and if you want to learn how to automate and upload your backups or to cloud storage you can check my other video i have created a very good nice comprehensive tutorial how to do it and i hope you will like that too so if you need any other guide about wordpress please post in the comments and i will see you in the next video